Hi guys, I'm back. And today we're going to do a Dutch pour. Uh, I just love the way the paints kind of blend together to sort of create a watercolor effect almost. Um, and we haven't done one in a while, so I just thought it would be a, a fun change from what we've been doing. Um, so I've got here some of the Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paint. Everyone's sort of, all the companies are sort of jumping on the bandwagon and creating their own pouring mixed paint. So we're going to use this just for a Dutch pour today. Uh, maybe later this week or maybe next week we'll actually use it uh, to create some cells. And we'll see how this works. Uh, the only thing I've really realized about all the pouring paints that I've tried so far is they're just a hint thinner than I would normally make my own pouring paint. Um, and of course it uses, they're using some sort of pouring medium and I use Floetrol. I like Floetrol better for my pouring medium than I do pouring medium. So, but we'll give it a try, show you guys how it is because it, let me tell you, it is a little easier just to, uh, <laughs> pick up a bottle of paint and pour it into a cup and then just add a little silicone and you're on your way. Um, it saves you from all the mixing and the, the remixing and the remixing. So you know, hopefully um, some of these products out there are, are good enough for, for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pour some white paint on my canvas and spread that around. And then we will see if we can create a pretty today. I tell you, I haven't had much luck lately. There have been quite a few videos that you guys just have not seen that got completely erased because I just wasn't happy with the painting in the end. It just wasn't what I was going for. And normally I would post them anyway, but the only one that was any good was actually... Unfortunately, it was fuzzy the entire way through the video. And of course I didn't realize it because I didn't look at it partially through the video. So sometimes you guys will see me um, say, okay, let me make sure you're still in focus because a lot of times, like, especially like canvases that are solid white and they take up most of the screen, they are not, uh, camera friendly, so to speak. Okay. So we've got that, like all covered. So I just want to cover the edges real quick. Because even though it's white, you still want to um, cover your cover your edges. Now some of the paint will go over and some of it won't. So you just want to make sure. Of course, with the white, you can always go back and and you know fill it in if you need to. Some of your edges didn't get painted on or something like that. Um, but you don't want to have to do that if you don't have to. I hope everyone had really great holidays. I know I did. Um, probably the best Christmas with my family that I've ever had. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys had, had holidays with your family and loved ones, friends that were just as wonderful as mine were. Okay, we're... Almost there. And this is kind of tedious. You normally I do this like off screen, but every time I do it off screen, somebody says, Oh, I want to see the whole process. So <laughs> if you want to see me smear white paint on the canvas, I'll do it. Anything for you guys. Plus it keeps me from having to jump up in my chair and turn the camera off and on. <laughs> because I don't have a remote or anything like that. It's just my phone filming. And uh, so I have to stand up. So you, you'll hear my floorboards creaking. And you'll hear me stepping up on my chair from time to time. I don't have any of the fancy stuff. Okay, there we go. That should be good enough. we got a few air bubbles. We're just going to pop those. It's so hard for me to get the little button mashed when my when I'm wearing these gloves. But it feels like we need more more butane. 
I think we'll be okay for this four. So let's begin. We'll start with, oh, let's start with some purple. And this is Anita's uh, eggplant. So once I get some color down, I'm going to make sure we're all in focus here. Okay, so we've got some color down. Let's make sure you guys are actually seeing it. Well, I can't tell. <laughs> I don't think so. There we go. I think you're in focus now. We shall see. We'll put a little more paint down and we'll see. I love the way the purple is bleeding into the white. It's really pretty. And then this is aqua green. Again, this is the Artist Loft um, Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. And then we've got Old Gold, which is a really pretty gold. And some, this is turquoise, which of course you guys, if you've been watching me for very long, you know turquoise is my favorite color in the world. I think we'll add just a dabble more purple. Okay, and then maybe just a hint more gold. Oops, I couldn't see what I was doing. It was like went down the side of the top there. Okay, that should be enough paint. Maybe just another drop of the green. All right, so we're gonna move these off of the table so that I don't bump them with my blow dryer. We're gonna pour the white around. There we go. And move that away. Let's make sure you guys are in focus. Okay, I think you are. It's hard to tell. kind of wanted you a little more centered all right I've got my blow dryer and I have fashioned a because <laughs> I lost the little uh, diffuser a long time ago never thought I would need it use now a straw to make it a little prettier because it's kind of pretty it's got some pretty cells but this is kind of what I was talking about how that the bloom technique I mean I'm getting pretty much the same thing not exactly like hers obviously it's hers is way prettier um, she gets these really big beautiful um, stretched out cells these are different this is more like lacing and stuff but for me, this is good enough. So we definitely need to do something because this is really boring up here. So we want to kind of get rid of a little bit of that purple. It just needs to be a little more interesting. Because I don't like straight lines like this. We, got, we need a little more white right there. Because we don't have any white. I guess it all kind of got blown off the canvas there. Okay. Let's do that out. Whoops. 
whoops, I just dropped right, dripped right there. That is not cool at all. Not cool. I see this pouring paint just doesn't, it doesn't work as well for me anyway, for this technique, but that's okay. Feel like, like this is going off because we don't have much going off here or here, but there's too much going off there. And I want to kind of wipe my fingers off so they don't drip. Or be quiet. No, you can't go out right now. I'm busy. Um, there we go. That's a little better. I think my white and the purple is sort of stretched back into it, so. Just delicate lazy if we can. There we go. That kind of got rid of the, the blob right there in the middle. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I really want to do is like, this is bothering me. So I'm going to take some white. <coughs> my goodness. Okay. Gonna have to pause you guys for just a second. Sorry. All right. So <laughs> sorry about that. They're um, treeing something outside. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I didn't see anything. Sometimes they start going crazy. And so I'll follow them outside to see what they're barking at. And I don't see anything. So we'll see. Okay. So I put a little more white right there. And I think I'm just going to kind of blow it a little bit. Just to kind of get a little bit more, I don't know, just not quite so much of this off this side. And it's kind of in a weird block. So I'm going to add just a little bit more to it. bit of extra to play with on the canvas. Okay. I'm not sure about that. Looks kind of wonky now. I don't know where that little spot came from. I know you guys are screaming, leave it alone. But you guys know how I am. I, <laughs> it's hard for me to leave stuff alone. Okay, that's a little better for me. I don't want to move it because there's a puddle right there in the middle and it's but still it's like oh it's bothering me because it's not really going off this side it's just barely like lightly going off these two sides so i really kind of want to scrape some of that off and then blow a little bit more out and i know you guys don't like it when i do that but um 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 um, um, um. yeah i think i'm gonna do that Sorry guys. So let's see. Let's find a good palette knife. This one will work well. Um, please don't yell at me. I'm sorry. I think we're going to scrape that off. And that off. A little bit more there. And we'll leave that little blotch right there. So let's get a little bit more white paint and put it on and then we'll blow a little bit around. I 
and hope we didn't totally just destroy this poor pretty little painting but I definitely like um, I'm not caring for the pouring paint with this method just because it's it's kind of thin and I don't know it, to me I can kind of tell that it's thin just because of the uh, the way the paints are all kind of mixing together okay so now we can take that and blow it out a little bit more again and hopefully we won't have completely ruined this poor little painting. Make sure I stuck my mouth in the right side of this. <laughs> my arm is sticking to the palette knife. That's the noise you're hearing. Okay, that's better. There's a little spot right there that's driving me crazy. There we go. Okay, that's better. Don't be afraid to put your fingers in the paint. It won't hurt anything. Okay, there we go. I feel like I kind of want to blow that down a little bit. Just a little teeny tiny bit. Okay, there we go. That's bad. That's, it's more proportioned. Um, yeah, we kind of lost like the lacing in here and it's just because I used the pouring paint instead of my regular mixed paint with Floetrol. So next time we'll know better, but I think it's still a pretty little painting. Uh, let's torch it. See if anything interesting will happen. Although, you know, there's no silicone in it. I really just want to kind of... I like something a little more interesting in here. That's It's really kind of boring. It's just too, I don't know, jumbled, might we say. I'm not even sure if you guys were in focus. Okay, let's bring it down. All right, well, we got some, some pretty kind of going on there the white got really broken up uh yeah i'm not thrilled about that at all look at that got really scratchy looking so i won't be using the the pouring paints for this method again but you know you guys can see what it does looks kind of like uh, ice crystals through there and i like the way the the colors blend in with the white and like I said they look all kind of watercolory kind of I don't know galaxy maybe uh, I think I wanted a little more golden and turquoise in there but end up more with more purple I don't know if you guys can see look at what the turquoise is doing in the white right there and again that's because it is the pouring paint with some sort of pouring medium I'm not sure what kind of pouring medium is in it that looks kind of cool looks like the little river or something I don't know if you look super super close there's some cool stuff going on okay guys there's your pretty for today uh, I hope you liked it it's still pretty it's, um, you know, to people that, that don't do pouring, they don't know that my white is all broken up. Um, we'll have to try this again. I really like the colors. I definitely would like to have more of that, that turquoisey and gold in there. So maybe we'll do another one. We'll get those colors with just the regular paints, mix them up with some Floetrol, 
and try this again and see, you know, kind of what the difference is. Uh, maybe we'll do that on Friday. So, um, if you guys have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see, any any particular type of painting, you know, like a, 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 a I don't know, an open cup or a, gosh, <laughs> they're all eluding me at the moment. Um, but yeah, uh, if you'd like to see a particular type of painting, I'd be glad to show it to you. So, um, let me know. Let me know what you think of this painting in the comments. And uh, if you guys would like to donate to my channel, my PayPal link is below. Um, I, I appreciate each and every one of you who donates to my channel. And you guys support me in the ways that you support me. I uh, hope everyone has a lovely day. See you later. Bye.